In today's video, we give you a full review of this infrared sauna right after this. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards, and as I said, we're going to give you a full review, a long-awaited full review of this infrared sauna that I've been using in my apartment for quite a while. I wanted to get the full experience of using this particular model or just the infrared saunas in general. I wanted the customer service experience, the electric bill, what my body felt like after long-term use, short-term use to long-term use with the infrared sauna, and now I can kind of give you a really good idea from a consumer perspective. So. This review here is going to be a very unscientific type of review, but we will get to the more kind of nuts and bolts of scientific stuff with infrared saunas as I learn more about it, talking about EMF, body voltage, other things that I really want to dive into as I learn more, not just about infrared saunas, but more about health, wellness, and fitness. The learning never ends, so no matter how much you're working out or diving into research and this stuff, it's always something that you can learn every day. And I've been fascinated by infrared saunas and the benefits of them. So we've put up a couple of videos. We've put up seven benefits of infrared sauna therapy, and there's a lot more. So we're going to have more videos like that. But like I said, wanted to have that full experience before I give you a full review on this. So there's going to be updated reviews on this infrared sauna that works in conjunction with the benefits of using such a device here in the home. So the model we have here is a Sunstream Evolve 15. This one here is a two-person sauna, but you can still run it on a regular electrical line. So condos, townhomes, and like in this case, my apartment, we're not gonna have an electrician come out and put a new line in. So 15 amp saunas like this one can run on regular electrical outlets. When you talk about 20 amps and above, don't know how high it goes, but 20 amps and above, that's when you have to have an electrician come out. You have to have special wiring. You have to have a box or whatever the electrician has to hook up to make sure that 20 amp or above infrared sauna works correctly. This one here, like I said, regular electrical outlet, 15 amp sauna. So the fact that it's two person and going through a regular electrical outlet is really, to me, already an advantage for this particular model that I got. Now, one of the things I hate doing is assembling anything, and the Evolve 15, happy to say, was fairly easy to put together, fairly straightforward. Kevin from Sunstream sent me an instruction manual, which I followed, had some really detailed pictures in there, but I could really, from the instruction manual, or even just deducing it from my own common sense, which some people say I have very little of, <laughs> little of, I can basically put it together without any kind of issue. And the assembly process was very, very easy, uh, including the glass, which sometimes with glass, it's a little tricky. Here, it has the cutouts already to slide the glass right in and be able to put the sauna together without issues. So after plugging everything in underneath the bench, I also put in the heater, which also connects to that uh, main box inside the bench. And that was pretty easy to slide right in there. And then on top of that, the bench went and covered up all the wiring without any kind of issues. I have to say like, once again, very, very easy. I'm not the best at putting stuff together. And this was super, super easy. Everything was cut out exactly where I needed it to be. And then plugging stuff in as I go made it, made it super easy. So here are the heaters inside the Evolve 15, just some of them. We have two more to cover. But these right here, really, really cool that you can remove uh, the structure right here. I'm gonna just move into the sauna and show you exactly. This is magnetic. So basically, the magnets on the back hook up to there. They also have holes here so you can drill through and keep them attached. I prefer, just for the sake of cleaning, which we're gonna do later on in this video, I can basically take this off, wipe it down, clean everything that I need to clean, and then take the magnet right there, lines up and sticks. Same thing with this big part right here, even though we have the benches uh, to stay away from there. You can take this entire panel off like that, clean it, and it lines right up and reattaches very easy. So to me, that's a more of an advantage. You have the choice, like I said, of drilling these in and using the, the screws to come uh, with the Evolve 15, but I choose to keep it like that, take it off, clean it, 
and, and keep everything uh, nice and tidy. So here's the heater I was talking about before that slid in uh, when we were installing the bench and all the electrical stuff is underneath there. Uh, everything here has been used, cleaned, and used again. So we're going to have a segment where we clean here and wipe all this stuff down. But the one thing I really, really like about this, one of two things uh, that are different than some of the other saunas out there is this has a heater on the bottom. You can see right there, we have dogs and cats. So hair gets in there pretty easily. So what we're going to do is wipe that down. I know it's pretty dirty, but I just want to show you how to clean that. Basically, it comes right up and then fits right back down. No magnets on this, but it's on the floor. So it fits right in there very, very easily. I can't say enough things how much heat that particular thing adds. Of course, you have those heaters there. And the next part that really does add a few degrees on uh, to the infrared heat is next. So here we have the front door heater, and this really does add some heat that most other saunas that I've seen, they don't have a front heater. So the fact that this has one really is an extra benefit in my opinion. Uh, cleaning this one would be a little bit more difficult because this is literally screwed into holes through the door. So I'd have to just kind of clean it off here once everything cools off and we'll do that as well. Uh, maybe not demonstrating in the video because you'll get the idea from the other heaters, how we clean everything, but just taking it one square at a time and cleaning it off. And the attachment point is very, very easy, just like the rest of the electrical. If you can see it comes around the corner there, has a, a stretchy cord. It just connects right there and then you close the door and I can feel a difference because I started out without this one to see what the heat would be. Uh, it started out around, you know, 56, 57 degrees Celsius. But with this on here, it was around 60 to 65, 65 being the max. So minimum three degrees, usually averaging 60 to 63 degrees Celsius. Uh, so adds quite a bit of heat having this front heater compared to other ones that do not have the front door heater. So here's the ceiling of the Evolve 15 and there's a few cool features here. Uh, obviously there's speakers in the back right here. It is Bluetooth enabled right now. I have it connected via Bluetooth, but according to the instruction manual, you can have wired audio. So if you don't want any wireless stuff going throughout the uh, infrared sauna, people are sensitive to EMFs or other things can disable the Bluetooth and they can have wired audio and do that through the top with a 3.5 millimeter cable and whatever adapters, if you have a new iPhone, new iPad uh, with the USB-C or no headphone jack, you can figure it out. Uh, but other than that, you also have a little vent here. So if you need to cool off the sauna after you're done, you can do that. I, I never really do that, but it's nice to have. Also, we have, some lighting, we have regular lights that come on right here and here, and then we have the colored lighting that's included there with a remote, which is right here. And you can see how that changes colors to whatever you need. Uh, also have pro programmable, and also you can dim it if you'd like. All sorts of cool stuff like that, shut it off. I leave the remote in the sauna. It usually doesn't seem like it's a problem. It takes a little watch battery to replace it. I don't turn it on all that often, but it is useful to have. So there's a little bit of a tight area here, but this is the temperature sensor that's right below the uh, control panel here. You turn the power on, you can put the temperature up to 65 degrees Celsius. You can go and set it up to 60 minutes. Also, you got the light there. You also have intensity of 175, 50%. I keep it on 100% right there. Uh, temperature wise, it's very it's sensitive, I mean, because it's in an area where there's central AC or heat. Heat wouldn't matter, but AC, if the temperature here is too low, it could clash with the fact that this thing is trying to heat up. It's sealed pretty good, but I've noticed if we have the air on 70, it tends to struggle to get up as quickly as possible. It's already going up a little bit. The door is open as well. Uh, but if I turn the air conditioning off or turn it up to like 74, 75, 76, because I don't care about sweating, I will get the uh, temperature up pretty quickly. And as a matter of fact, uh, we're going to go work out and do some cardio and then come back. So I'm going to shut this off. And then right before we leave, I'm going to turn it back on, time it. Uh, usually about 30 minutes is what it takes to get up to about 55 degrees Celsius or so. We're going to do about 45 minutes of cardio 
and then come back and, and see what we got. All right, so guess what? I forgot to uh, turn the sauna on before I want to do cardio. So we are gonna turn it on. And that's gonna be good because what I'm gonna try to do is time lapse it or run the camera to see how long it takes to heat up. Obviously putting my Sony a6500 inside the sauna could be a dangerous proposition because even the iPhone overheats after like 10, 15 minutes in the sauna. I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna do that as far as any kind of uh, video blogs inside the sauna, but we're gonna be in the corner pointing at the, uh, the control panel and hopefully uh, being able to focus in on that and seeing just how long it takes uh, to heat up. So be patient. So we are stepping into the sauna right now. It's about 17 minutes in since I started it up. And right before I did that, it went to 41 degrees Celsius, was just under 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, we have the microphone in here and we're trying to, to do this uh, by holding it, hand holding it here. But, you know, this is, uh, this is pretty warm, but I'm used to it being around like I said before, anywhere from 56 to 62 when I get into it, but that's usually after a good 45 minutes of cardio. I've given this 18 minutes right now. At 16, it was a 41. At 17, it was 42, so 107, 108 degrees. It's pretty warm in here. I'm already starting to sweat a little bit. Now, the thing that's interesting about uh, the, you know, the, what we did today, which was unintentional, was usually when I step into this, it's right after a workout, my pores are opened up, I'm sweaty from cardio or lifting weights uh, for 30 to 45 minutes or an hour, then I'm sweating instantly. I cooled down and I was within, you know, the around 72, 73 degrees outside within the apartment. And now I am here as I step in, I can feel it penetrating after like one to two minutes or so, I start to feel myself heating up. Uh, obviously, it's not going to get up to like the 200, 220 degrees that uh, normal, say, rock or electric saunas get up to. The infrared is different, different technology, and uh, but right now it is warm. It is getting warm, and I'm already pouring sweat from my elbow here, and I'm starting to feel it. So we're going to come back as I'm in here, as it warms up, and probably at the end of my session, uh, talk about it, and then go to the cleaning portion and not fun portion of the infrared sauna but very integral very important to keep this clean and um that's about it i'm gonna just uh, sit here listening to the podcast and stuff like that through the bluetooth and i'll be back and i'll hit you back in a little bit by the way as i step out i feel a huge difference even though this hasn't heated up to the 65 degrees celsius i feel a difference between being in there in the sauna in in there and out here in the apartment. So we're on the iPhone and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a uh, landmark here. We hit 50 degrees Celsius in under 30 minutes. So around 28, 29 minutes, we hit 50 degrees Celsius. And just to give you an idea, I'm gonna turn the phone around so you can see I've been in here about, what, 11, 12 minutes, something like that. Very short amount of time from being cooled down, completely cooled down until after my workout. And uh, I'll show you how sweaty I am already. So here I am, I'm, I'm sweating, you know, I'm sweating pretty good. And it's been like this for about five or six minutes, like I said, from being completely cooled down out there. And it wasn't even, we're not even, we're 15 degrees Celsius underneath the maximum temperature of the infrared sauna we have here, the Evolve 15 from Sunstream. Uh, but you can see sweat just dripping off my elbow, back of my hand here. Uh, a deep penetrating sweat, more so than a regular sauna. So that's why I really was fascinated by the infrared saunas. And I apologize about the iPhone audio, but I wanted to get this in real time. We have the uh, camera out there, and uh, but we're gonna get more footage uh, of you know what's going on in here as we go. Because at 50 degrees, 30 minutes left, I'm hoping it goes up to almost the max, and we'll check back in with you. I'm gonna sit in here until. It's kind of unbearable. That's what I do on the sauna right now. And I sort of try to meditate. I sort of try to um, just think about what I'm going to do, how I'm going to edit this video, positive, productive thoughts, 
while I'm in here uh, detoxing and sweating my butt off. Hey guys, it's about 12 minutes later and we're hovering between 53 and 54 degrees. There's the temperature sensor there and I'm in a uh, complete flop sweat. So even though it's not, there's 54. Even though it's not, there's 53, 54. Even though it's not up to the main uh, maximum temperature, I should say, of 65 degrees Celsius, I am sweating uh, quite profusely. So we'll turn it around so you can see. I, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be much of a difference on camera, but yeah, I am sweating uh, pretty well. So there we go. Yeah, more sweat. 12 minutes after I checked in last time. I am in a, uh, a pretty good sweat here. Feel good. It doesn't feel overbearing or overpowering or overwhelming, uh, but it's starting to get pretty hot in here around 54 degrees Celsius, as I said. Oh, my goodness. Look at that 47-year-old gut I need to get rid of. But the sweat is uh, it's definitely helping me uh, feel less joint pain, definitely helping me feel just better all around. Saunas are awesome. So the fact that I have this in here, I said it a million times, is an unbelievable blessing. So we'll check in with you. I'm going to stay in here, see how hot it can get. Probably check back in on the iPhone just because I don't want a thousand dollar camera in the sauna when it's heated up. Checking back with you. We got eight minutes left. So that'll make a total of an hour from warm up until I get out and 56 degrees Celsius. And it's starting to get rough. So we're 9 degrees Celsius under the max temperature, and I'm ready to get out. So even when we went in and it was a little bit lower than max temperature, it still penetrated the infrared sauna technology, and it still got me into a really good sweat. So we're going to get out of here maybe even in the next couple of minutes. We'll see. But the 56, and it's topping off around 57 or so. I opened the door for a second. Now it's dropping a little bit. The temperature sensor is right there, like I said, so it might be bouncing back and forth. Uh, we'll be uh, seeing you on the other side of the sauna. All right, so try to get out of here. Okay, we are uh, done with the session. I lasted until five minutes was left. It was 56 degrees Celsius. And my goodness, I mean, I am dripping all over the gym mat, so we're going to have to mop up the gym mat. That's a lot of sweat, though. Now, the thing, too, is I have to take a while to cool down. So I'll take a cold shower, but I'll still be in a flop sweat for at least 20 to 30 minutes. So I didn't check my heart rate or anything, but the infrared sauna, like I talked about in a recent video about four more benefits of infrared sauna therapy, uh, weight loss. So I was burning calories in there. My core body temperature just kept going up. My body was fighting to keep it down, and... We'll probably wear a heart rate monitor in there eventually to see if it even uh, survives the heat. But the next segment after I cool down, I don't know, I might come back 20, 30 minutes from now and still be uh, sweating all over the floor. But we're going to come back and I'm going to clean this out, show you what we use to clean uh, the heaters. And, uh, you know, it's very important, at least from common sense and what we've read, uh, to not use any kind of uh, harsh chemicals. So you would assume so, but no harsh chemicals because when it heats up, obviously it's going to off gas and come up and it's going to be like a, a death chamber, I guess, or something. So uh, we'll come back once I cool down, once I get all this stuff, and then we'll show you uh, the cleaning process of the Evolve 15. Odin, stay out of there. Are you a sauna cat? What are you doing? Are you getting in the trouble? So we removed the uh, the wooden floor here and started to spray stuff down. We have an all natural cleaner right here. So this is all purpose in our home, but my wife actually makes this because she doesn't want any of the harsh uh, store-bought chemicals that can be in a lot of these cleaners. And if you're spraying it here, even if you wipe it off, then the heater heats up. It could have some off-gassing and then the chemicals get within this closed space and you're breathing it in. Breathing it in. So uh, not necessarily a, a safe thing. This infrared sauna is supposed to be something that's supposed to be for health and wellness. So if you do that, you might not be too happy with the results. So this is very exciting stuff. We're just going to clean this up. And uh, you need to be very mindful that this is a thin piece right here so don't push too hard on it 
and very easy to clean off. Just a few paper towels. I know we got hair. I don't know how in the world the cat and dog hair got in here, but how the hell does it ever get into most of the places it gets into? So that's the end for this. This is what we're cleaning with, and uh, do this every so often, like once uh, every few days or every week, depending on how much we use the sauna. And that's not bad at all. So that's about it, guys. That's my full review, at least initially the full review, because I'm going to do many updated reviews on the Evolve 15 from Sunstream Saunas. I have to say, after having this in my home for a couple months or so, I'm just thrilled to add this to my health and wellness and fitness regimen. It really is. I know I say it ad nauseum. Such a blessing to be able to have a home gym and then add this infrared sauna uh, into my regimen. It's really, really cool. I'm going to keep you updated because uh, something like this is not cheap. It's very expensive. Even the stuff that's supposedly the low-end models, it's still a lot of money that you're spending on your, on your longevity, health, wellness, whatever it might be. Uh, if you're sick, you want to use these to get better, you want to detox, whatever it is, you're spending your hard-earned money. So I'm going to give you many updates on this, not just months after using it, but years. That's, the, that's my goal here with the YouTube channel with the health, wellness, fitness, and technology reviews to let you know how these products are working in the long term. So please stay subscribed, click the bell to get notified. I mentioned the electric bill, by the way. Uh, I might be in the middle of a billing cycle, so it only went up by a few dollars. Uh, and it really doesn't use a whole lot of electricity. Uh, and you saw how fast I started sweating, so you don't have to kind of gut it out for 45 minutes or an hour. Your sauna sessions can be 20 to 30 minutes with probably a 20 to 30 minute warm-up time. And depending upon the intensity that you want to use on this particular model, you can really tell your sauna sessions and it can cost even less per month uh, to have an infrared sauna like this one in your home. But like I said, please subscribe here. Comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Let's all learn together about stuff like this and other things in your entire you know life regimen. Let's call it that because I say health, wellness, fitness, all that stuff. It's really just living your life and trying to live your best life. And it sounds corny as hell, but that's exactly what I try to do every day and pass along to each and every one of you out there. So for now, thank you guys. God bless you and have a great day.